Good morning students. How are you all? Hope you all are fine and staying at home. Students, today we are going to discuss about a new point that is nomen or foreign. As the name given here, nomen or foreign. Foreign means the other country. We have more than 200 countries all over the world. But our country is India. And if we talk about the other countries, we know that in every country there are same kind of human beings. They are different in height, different in strength maybe, but they are same like us. They are same human beings. They breathe, they talk, they walk, they can see here and there. So they are same. So in this poem, poet wants to give us the message of love and brotherhood. Like although we are different by countries, but we are same. So let's discuss about this poem. It's a very very interesting poem which gives us the message that we have to stay with love with every person. James Kirkup, name of the poet. Is really a great poet, was born in 1918 and died in 2009. He written more than 30 books in his life, which includes autobiographies, novels, and plays. He is an English poet. So now let's start with the poem No Men Are Foreign. Remember, no men are strange, no country is foreign. Beneath all uniforms, a single body breathes. So, in this world, every person is same. Nobody is strange to us. Under all the uniforms, here the uniform means the uniform of soldiers. Means whichever country you have, under all the uniforms, you are same. Same human beings. Everyone breathes. Like ours, the land our brothers walk upon is earth like this in which we all shall lie. Here the poet say that as we walk on our land, all the other persons also walk. All the other persons have legs, they can walk, so they walk like us. They too aware of sun and air and water are fed by peaceful harvest by war long winter storm. So here they put reference to foreigners. They are aware about sun, water and air. They are fed by peaceful harvest means when there is peace, everyone living happily, they also led a very happy life. And during war when there is total destruction outside, at that time what happened? They have to stop, they have to stay in their homes and they do not have proper food to eat. Their hands are us and in their life we read a labor no different from our own. So their hands are like us. Like we are having hands, they are also having the same hands. And in their books, in their lines means in their books we read that a labor no different from our own means they work hard as we do. Like our common persons working hard to earn their livelihood, they also working really very hard for their livelihood. Then remember they have eyes like ours, they wave or sleep and strength that can be one. While love in every land is common life. That all can recognize and understand. So here the poet explains that every person on this world, like it's me, it can be you, it can be any other person who living in any country, when they open their eyes, they are awakened and when they close their eyes, they are sleeping. So it's a common thing and it happens with every person. And with love, 
they can win any person they can win this world as everyone says that with love you can win any person in every land is common life means everywhere all over the earth there is a same life everybody living in a same manner everybody eating food to live and we all they all can recognize and understand we can recognize as a human being because we are human being so we can recognize them whichever the person who is looking like us we can recognize that this is a human being and we can understand whatever the language they are using but we can understand them with the help of their expressions let us remember whenever we are told to hate our brothers it is ourselves that we have disposes betray condemn now let us remember means remember the time when our political leaders told us to fight war against our brothers because the persons who are living on other land they are like our brothers so when we start fight when we start war with them what happened that time that we shall dispose dispose means deprive or lost we lost them because in war what happened many soldiers died we lost our brothers we betray them we deceive them and we condemn them we criticize them so remember we who take arms against each other so who are we we are soldiers and we take weapons against each other here actually poet wants to explain the life of a soldier who fight with the other soldier without knowing the result it is the human earth that we defy by war by hatred what we do we defy we make the earth dirty or help of our of fire and dust outrage the innocent what happened our hell of fire means our hatred and war spread blood of war all over because of war lot of soldiers died so we spread blood of our brothers and dust outrage the innocent means that thing that dust which raised because of that war that impure our earth it destroy our earth so of air that is everywhere our own remember no man or foreign and no country is strange so here the poet said that the whole earth is our own so don't spread hatred just spread love here poet say that we have to spread the feeling of love and brotherhood and then in the end the last rhyme remember no man or foreign and no country is strange so poet explain here that no person is strange for us everyone is like our brothers like our sisters like our family so stay with love with everyone so like we have neighbors china pakistan afghanistan myanmar nepal bangladesh sri lanka so according to poet we have to stay with love and brotherhood with all these countries if we are together we are united then we are strong that's our strength because unity is always strength of a person so now let's discuss about the central idea of the point here all men are same they have the same kind of body so every person is same we all are same we have the same body thus no men are strange or foreign if everyone having same body everyone having same hand same legs same face so how they are foreigners we can say foreigners that like the person who came from other planet or which are not human beings 
बट दे आर लाइक अस सो दे आर नॉट फॉर्नर दे आर लाइक आर ब्रदर्स वी शुड नेवर हेट अदर्स दे आर ऑल आर ब्रदर्स बाय हेटिंग अदर्स वे लूज देयर लव सो हियर द पोइट गिव्स अस द क्लियर मैसेज दैट वी मस्ट लव एवरीवन वी नेवर स्प्रेड हेटरेड in the end the poet gives the message of love and brotherhood so friends stay with love with all the neighbors and all the persons you know because life is very short just spread love don't spread hate hate hopefully you understand the poem if you have any query any question you can contact me so stay at home and revise your work properly have a nice time and thank you